continuing to field questions for U.S. Simile. I have a student asking on one of my prior YouTube clips about what would be okay in terms of a first round score in UWorld. He says, even though I know people are saying it's just to be used as a learning tool, and then various people liked that comment. So uh, the implication being uh, some of you guys want to know, okay? And I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. So student wants to know what would be a first round uh, adequate performance in UWorld, uh, although he is aware, at least peripherally, that uh, some students have said it should be used as just a learning tool. And my response is, I agree with the latter. It is just a learning tool. I don't want you obsessing or getting emotional over your UWorld blocks. Obviously, when you're trying to gauge your progress, uh, you know, you want to be improving, but with each block you do, but there's going to be fluctuation, okay? You get a 58% of the block, you're unhappy about it. You get a 75%, you're more happy. So in terms of, but I haven't answered your question yet as far as what is a decent uh, percentage. Uh, the answer is, I'd say at least in the 60s. That's what I like to see for students, okay? When we talk about passing, okay? For step one and step two, I like seeing scores in the 60s. Scores in the 40s, you're nowhere near passing. Scores in the 50s are borderline. Scores in the 60s, in the low 60s, uh, borderline slash were okay. We just need to continue through the QBank, as I just fucking said, without being emotional about things. Scores that are two thirds and above are good. Scores 70s and above, no concerns whatsoever. Scores 80s, you're obviously going to wreck the exam, okay? As in high 250s, 260s plus. So, uh, that's my answer here. Obviously, many talking points. I want you finishing all of your world. Correct. Use it as a learning tool. Don't get emotional about it. Just get through the entirety of the QBank. Then you're going to go on to the MBME exams. 2030 for step one. And then for 2CK, all the clinical mastery series forms and uh, NBMEs uh, 6 through 12 and free 120 for both steps one and two. You know the deal. to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.